Hey, you're listening to Chicago Children's Theater's latest radio play. Welcome back to X Marks a Spot, Episode 2, The Lighthouse and the Sand Fairy. This show was designed with and for the blind or visually impaired community. Melody, a character in this play, has a visual impairment, uses a cane to get around, and reads and writes using Braille. As always, we invite you to dim the lights, close your eyes, and join us on this adventure. Last week, the kids discovered a strange creature on the beach. Let's catch up with them now and see what this thingy is. What are you? I am... <coughs> a sand fairy. I grant wishes, you crew of one, two, three, four. Just three wishes, you hear. And no, not one more. Well, check out that you don't trip, because my three wishes are going to make you flip. <laughs> I'm still hip. One, two, three. That's how many I will grant to thee. A fairy? It doesn't look at all like a fairy. Yeah, but we've never seen a sand fairy before. Oh, you don't say. Well then, kids, today must be your lucky day. Can you really grant wishes? Oh, what did I just say? Oh, yes, yes, oh, yay. But one little piece of pertinent info. When your wish is granted, it will end, though. <clears throat> My wishes end at sundown. When that big ball of fire drops into the lake, the wish is over. The magic will break. So, make your first wish, kids. It's time to go. Throw me a wish. Let's get on with the show. Sweet. What should we wish, wish for? Superpowers? Ooh, pow! What if we wish for Dad to come home? <laughs> Ooh, uh, 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 Dad. Yeah, Dad. Actually, nah, he has to complete his mission. What about a far out talking dog? <laughs> well? Peanut pinches the Sand Fairy's nose. Oh my gosh, sometimes I just wish Peanut would just grow up already. Oh, wish granted! The Sand Fairy disappears back into the sand. Uh oh. Is that Peanut? Yes. No. No? Yes. What is he wearing? Some weird ruffled shirt and white flared pants. Some cool suspenders. Oh, he looks like a disco nightmare. Peanut is no longer a baby, but now a 20-year-old man with a soul patch. <laughs> hey, whoa! <laughs> What are you dorks looking at? Peanut, that's not very nice. Hey, don't guilt trip me, man. And my name's not Peanut. Not anymore. It's Foxy McGroovy. <laughs> and that's Mr. McGroovy to you nerdy little kids, too, you dig? We're not going to call you that. <laughs> you have to. I'm the big brother. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm the big brother. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure I'm the big brother. And I am way bigger than you. Your eyes just reach my chin. <laughs> okay, but can you uh, do this? A cartwheel, a cartwheel, a wings, wings, and a tap dance step. Ooh. You can't even do that. <laughs> Let it ride, man. Ooh. Oh, no way. This is awful. How long do we have to put up with him like this? Till sunset. Woo! <laughs> coo 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 -choo! I'm working on my moves, you catch my drift. You're looking at a future dancer on Soul Train. No, we're not. Oh, hit it. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. How is the music right now? 
my audition for the big gig is tomorrow. Not only am I a Casanova, I'm a disco machine. Oh, 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 yeah. Looks like the machine's broken. Sky, Melody, come here. This is a major drag. We better find that sand bearing and make a real wish tomorrow. Once this Mr. McGroovy thing wears off, I'm pretty sure this is where the sand bearing hangs up. So we'll mark the spot with rocks. See, I made an X. So X marks the spot. Melody, feel the X? Yes. Woohoo! Can you dig it? He's not even a good dancer. And he's a major doofus. Yeah, well, he never had time to learn anything, like manners. That's why little kids need time to grow up. They have a lot of stuff to learn before they get to be big. Yeah, like how to dance. We've got to come up with a good wish tomorrow. We only have two left. Something, you know that we really want. It's not my fault, it was an accident. Yeah! 12 hours later. <laughs> oh, suited and booted and looking so top notch. Woohoo! <sighs> He's still dancing. Look, the sun is disappearing on the horizon. I never want to hear that song again. All I'm saying is that we could have been playing with a talking dog. I said I'm sorry already. Whoa, what's going on? Hey, wow! I can do that. Peanut! Oh, how we missed your little annoying babiness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. A quack, quack, quack. Aww. Peanut, thankfully, had returned to his normal, babbling baby self. The Otis children realized they needed to think hard about what their next wish would be. They couldn't afford to waste anymore. They followed the same path back to their home, which was becoming a bit more familiar now, past the sandy dunes and through the tall prairie grass. The children laughed themselves to sleep that night, dreaming of Foxy McGroovy and his wild dance moves. What would they do with their second wish? Well, you'll have to wait until our next episode to find out. Now that that episode's over, let's do an activity together. In this episode, the Otis children met the Sand Fairy, who has eyes like a snail's eyes, ears like a bat, a fluffy, fuzzy nose, a splayed-out tail like a peacock, and is small and green. Now it's your turn to make your own Sand Fairy. You can draw a picture of what you think it looks like or just make it out of things around your house. Do you have anything that feels fuzzy, like its nose? How about something that makes a flapping noise, like its tail? Use all your senses to figure out what could represent each part of the fairy. 